So today I bring you the most insane leveling and XP farm in the game. You guys think the Grave Ward is crazy? Eh, eh, eh. This is way better and faster. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and I'd like to thank you for stopping by and checking out my video. If you enjoy it, leaving a like truly helps me out and subscribe if you want more Borderlands 3 videos. Also guys, I am giving away copies of Borderlands 3. So to win one for yourself or a friend, make sure you are subbed to this channel, drop a like on the video and leave a comment down below. Also turn those notifications on. So since completing the story, I have searched the game for an XP farm to get me to that level 50 as soon as possible. And guys, I have found one. Not the one I am seeing spammed all over the internet about farming Grave Ward. I mean that, for me, as a level 35, going into that and Mayhem 3 is just ridiculous and I can't do it, even with the pipe bombs. Now the farm I've got, not only does this allow you to basically get a level per minute, it also gives you a ton of Guardian ranks too. So this spot is a new spot I found on Eden 6. So go within Eden 6 to the Amber Meyer area and spawn into Rogue's Hollow. Then turn back on yourself, jump out of the broken window and fall down onto this cave on your right. Within here are four enemies. Each gives you floods of XP. And the best thing here is people, none of them have shields. So they're quite easy to kill. Me doing this I got from a level 30 to 45 in little over 10 minutes. It's just utterly crazy. This is by far the best XP farm in the game. Now doing a little calculations with the complete method you can earn up to 20 million XP per hour towards your guardian ranks. That's including True Vault Hunter and so forth as well as a glitch which I'll tell you guys about in a second. But without True Vault Hunter enabled as I'm not going back through the story yet you can still earn way over 10 million per hour easy people. My pal who has been doing this tactic on Vault Hunter was getting 18 million per hour and that was him being slack while doing this. Because as you can see on screen now, on Mayhem 3 you get between 56 and 57 thousand per kill on these four enemies. And being a little kind, so I'd say an average run on Mayhem 3 is probably about 2 minutes if you have the right weapons. So that's 57 thousand times 4 and then times that by 30, that equals out to almost 7 million per hour. And that's not including that true hunter mode at all. Now I know you guys out there that have just completed the story want a method of not having to play on Mayhem 3, as things are just way harder, and I agree. The gameplay you can see on screen now is me doing this on Mayhem 1, and look how quick my ranks increase. And this isn't with the offline glitch either. Now I was reading the offline glitch somehow increases your XP gains by up to 7 times, which is crazy, which I'll show you how to do that in a second. But without the offline glitch you can see I still get a load of XP for levels when you have just completed the campaign. You can see those XP gains now and as you can see on Mayhem 1 which is real easy people, you get an average 5000 plus XP per kill on these 4 enemies. And if you don't want to do the offline glitch you can just do this, farm this spot by killing these 4, quitting out and reloading, rinsing and repeating. Now if you do want to do the offline glitch, this 5000 XP gain increases to 15000 XP per enemy on Mayhem 1. And how you do this offline XP glitch is quite simple. Just quit your game, go offline and reload your game back up. And this I can confirm works on both consoles and on PC. And you're basically good to go. I have no idea why XP increases like this, but it does. Maybe 2k are feeling sorry for kids without no internet. I have no idea. Now doing this on Mayhem 2, as you can see on screen now, with the offline mode gives you around 35,000 per kill on these four enemies. And Mayhem 3 people gives you 50,000 plus per kill on these enemies. What I suggest you do if you're trying to reach that rank 50 and have just completed the campaign, start in Mayhem 1 to get to about rank 40, then switch to Mayhem 2. Then when you get to around that 45 mark, switch to Mayhem 3 to finish you off and get you to that rank 50. If you are already at rank 50 and just want to go here on Mayhem 3 and farm this place for Guardian ranks, it's easy XP people. I will state this isn't a farming spot for legendaries, I mean you do get a few drops but it isn't nowhere near the best spot in the game, it's just for those XP gains. So get farming, also keep an eye on the modifiers too as some of them can be pretty hectic. Now I will leave you watching me farm this spot to show off how efficient this is guys, enjoy. 
On that note, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want more Borderlands 3 videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one. Surprising yourself.
Your Secrets. <laughs>